Dear students, today we can discuss about the junction diode switching characteristics in the subject electron devices and circuits. Diodes are often used in switching modes. So when a forward voltage is applied to the diode, the diode is in on state. When the diode is switched off, that is forward bias to reverse bias, it will be taking some finite time to reach steady state. So this behavior of diode is called switching characteristics. And this switching characteristics of diode we are going to discuss today. So what is uh, switching characteristics? When the diode is switched from forward bias to the reverse bias or vice versa, from reverse bias to forward bias, it takes some finite time to reach the final steady state. So this behavior of diode is called switching characteristics of diode. So usually P region is lightly doped and N region is heavily doped because of this only the switching time is going to be different. So the diode gets on when positive voltage is applied to the forward bias diode. Diode gets off when the negative voltage is applied to reverse bias the diode. So this will be the switching circuit. This is called a switching circuit which is having a resistor, a resistor as well as a diode. So, uh, how to discuss is if there is a characteristics depending on the uh, current flow as well as the voltage applied and the uh, carrier concentration degradation. So, this diagram represents this particular uh, the characteristics. The first one uh, which will be representing the flow of uh, uh, voltage that is the applied voltage and then the carrier concentration, then the current as well as the loss, the time duration to take from one to another. So either that is a forward bias to reverse bias. This represents the forward bias to the re reverse bias. So we are going to uh, discuss these things, recovery time, forward recovery time, then till the time T1, as per this diagram, uh, till the time T1, how, what happens? This one here we are going to discuss. Then from after ti at time T1 to T2, then from T2 onwards, then the reverse recovery time. Okay. So, the combinedly we are going to discuss these steps one by one. So, first is, uh, listen, if you are for giving a forward voltage diode, it will be switching on at T1. So, this is the forward voltage. It makes the diode to switch on. If you applied reverse voltage suddenly, it will not off from on state instantly because the minority charge carriers in the P side and the N sides of the diode are not instantly removed. So, because of this region, the diode response reaches a steady state only after a certain interval of time that is called as the recovery time. So, the, what is recovery time? Uh, when forward bias is applied, it does not uh, return to the state either if you are going for on to off or off to off because the minority charge carriers in the P and N sides of the diode are not instantly removed. So, the diode response reaches a steady state only after a certain duration. That duration is called as the recovery time. So, next is forward recovery time. So, here it is denoted as Tf. So, this Tf represents the time difference between heart and since this is a diode voltage and time is called forward recovery time. And this forward recovery time does not cause serious problem because therefore only reverse recovery time is considered for practical consideration. So what is the what is the thing it we're going to happen is here uh, this is your carrier concentration means. So your carrier concentration just degrades and here it will be in some uh, because of the thermal equilibrium it is represented as P N O. So what is this represents it is P N so, what is the variation will be represented as Pn minus Pn0. Okay. So, in spite of that minus Vr produces minus R for some time till minority carrier. That is the till time T1. Okay. So, till time T1 it is nothing but the storage time. Till time T1, forward voltage applied and diode are forward biased. The resistor value is large enough to make that particular to, to, to uh, drop the volt and uh, drop the resistance. So your current is going to be maximum. That is IF is equal to VF by R. That is considered to be the storage time. After storage time, the diode voltage starts to reverse. So this is at time T1. Okay. Here your diode time starts to reverse. So what happens? Uh, it will be 
transition uh, it will be making transition from one to another so applied voltage suddenly reversed the reverse voltage is applied on the circuit makes the diode to off condition from on instantly but it does not happen so the transition is not going to happen the diode voltage starts to reverse and completely attain its final state steady state in some time that time is called as transition so here the time is represented as transition time t t okay the total time now at time t1 it is going to happen because of this minor at the carrier time to reduce from pn minus pn0 to 0 at junction so due to this time at t1 the current just reverses and this current now it is reverse bias until t2 it is minus vr by r that is the reverse path. Now from T2 onwards. So from T2 onwards, what, what is going to happen? The diode voltage starts to reverse and diode current starts decreasing. At T2, the time at time T equal to T2, the diode completely reversed and attains steady state in its reverse bias condition. So it is going to be entirely transition off. So the total time uh, required for the time diode to switch into other state that is on to off or off to on is known as recovery, reverse recovery time. So, the total time taken is nothing but summation of the storage time and the transition time. Okay. So, maximum minimum switching effect can be achieved with 10 times the reverse recovery time. So, it depends on the circuits. RC time constant, resistance capacitance time constant while doing practically, it is going to be divided, taking into care that is RC time constant. So, for the minimum switching effect, it can have 10 times the TR, that is the reverse recovery time. So, the switching characteristics discusses about the characteristics when the diode is going to be in switching mode. So, it will be depending on the recovery time, the storage time, Transition time. At last, the reverse recovery time is nothing but the summation of the storage time and the reverse uh, and the storage time and the transition time. Thank you.